Hey Acupressure and Wellness fans, it's Diego Roig and I wanted to follow up on my last video doing intercostal massage. Now this is for people who've caught a cold, who tend to get relapses, asthmatics, people with bronchitis, people with C um, um, OCPD, you know, people who um, have restricted and limited breathing where the rib cage is not fully expanding and contracting. So this massage technique, which is like a trigger point therapy massage technique, where you hold ischemic adhesion trigger points. You basically hold knots for 12 to 15 seconds with firm but yielding pressure. And then you move over and you hold uh, the the uh, tissue next to it you go along working on the same muscle all along and you do your best to release the trigger points there and what happens is they free up the ribs and the ribs can operate like an, an accordion where it can expand and contract very easily so I'm going to show you on my my poster a technique of how that's done okay all right here we are, here's my poster. Now you see, you see the rib cage. And what you do is, if this is you, you know, in this case, I'm gonna show you how to do it on someone else. Let's say your family member is, has, has asthma and you wanna help them. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna rub on the rib cage, you know, some liniment. You've, you could rub any type of menthol, mint, um, maybe ginger, you know, essential oil with coconut oil mixture. And you could use cream as well, but we're gonna start with the lower part of the rib. You see the muscles in between the ribs. These are the intercostal muscles, okay? And the lungs are inside of the rib cage, protected by the rib cage. So the way we're gonna treat these tight muscles here, which from, from prolonged and continuous coughing have shortened and have put like a strangle hold and grip on the ribs not allowing the grips to the, the not allowing the ribs to fully expand and contract we're gonna we're gonna change that we're gonna restore movement and the way we do that we start at the bottom of the ribs and in this case you can see I'm gonna use I'm gonna start off with two fingers two fingers here and then I'm gonna place them in between the ribs on those muscles hold them for 12 to 15 seconds and I'm applying firm but yielding pressure. And then after that, I'll move over and do the same, 12 to 15 seconds, then move over to the end, do the same. And then I'll come up, and in this case, I could probably do three fingers, and that's just to expedite it, but I'd hold there for 12 to 15 seconds, holding firmly, feeling for tension in the muscles, move over, hold another, hold this muscles right next to it, 12 to 15 seconds, then move over 12 to 15 seconds. Now my left hand, uh, my right hand's pressing on the muscles. My left hand can grab the arm and raise the, raise the arm from the elbow, raise it up this way, and then treat a little further under the rib cage. Yeah? And when you do that, when you raise the arm, you're expanding the lung too. Yeah? Okay, so then we can move up. Now we're gonna come closer to the sternum same thing with three fingers we'll press between the ribs on the intercostal muscles and hold them pressing 12 to 15 seconds firm but yielding pressure come over 12 to 15 seconds 12 to 15 seconds nice and slow you keep doing that right what happens is you've managed to release the knots and adhesions ischemic adhesions in this muscle that's gotten tight from prolonged and continuous coughing, okay? So you do that all the way to the top here. While you're doing that, you can raise the, the right arm here, bring it over this way, and that kind, of, um, that kind of assists with the expansion of the rib cage. And you can have the person take a breath and feel what it feels like comparing left, right to left. Then to do the same thing on the other side, yeah? Um, if they're really extreme, you can turn them over and then do the same thing on the back. Depends how 
the size of a person, how thick or thin. You know, with a child, this is really easy to do. The rib cage is, um, you know, easy to landmark and, and see. So you can help them minimize the prescription medication they need, the dosage. You can help them strengthen their lung capacity and oxygen um, inhalation, decrease potentially decrease the dosage and help them with their immunity, right? Strengthen their immunity. Now this is a large part of immunity in Chinese medicine is the lung function of the lung organ, okay? Anyway, and that's the technique, my technique of doing an intercostal massage therapy using trigger point therapy technique. Thank you for joining me.